प्रणाम आचार्य जी सर माय क्वेश्चन वाज दैट जस्ट सम मिनट्स बिफोर यू टोल्ड दैट इट रिक्वायर्स अ डीप थिंकिंग टू अराइव एट व्हाट इज़ द राइट थिंग टू डू सो सो माय क्वेश्चन वाज दैट इन इन टर्म्स ऑफ लाइक इफ वी हैव टू एनालाइज समथिंग एंड इट इज क्वाइट अ फार थिंग लाइक सपोज वी हैव टू एनालाइज द इन्वायरमेंट analyze the environment or anything that is happening uh, outside but when we uh, try to objectively analyze something that happens with us or is associated with us it gets a kind of a messy affair to arrive at anything that is worth following or anything that is clear so uh, my question is in the context of how you started this quest of finding out what is right and was it this uh, thinking and how did we you arrive at what is, what was the right thing and how did you face this challenge of uh, investigating those things which demand which may which may have a risk of losing something that you have been holding for a long time so, so how do we uh, investigate those things right what's your name uh siddharth singh siddharth is asking it's easy to investigate objective world hmm? phenomena outside of us right you go to a laboratory and you can conduct experiments there because really you don't have much to do with the equipment there hmm? uh, you go and and there is an engine you are conducting experiments on or a computer you are writing code on you are not personally related there so it's uh, easier to be objective there but when it comes to investigating what is going on in our life within us then it becomes difficult the word that he is struggling to come to is detachment and you'll be surprised where detachment comes from detachment comes from love if you really have self love then you want to know what is going on in your life and he is right it becomes a complicated thing it becomes a hodgepodge a mess within you just cannot know what is happening from where is this emotion arising from where is that desire coming why do i hate that direction why am i falling for such a thing all these things happen inside and it becomes so difficult to remain objective because now the subject itself is involved right in such situations you require to be detached and that detachment i am saying comes from love detachment therefore is not an opposite of love detachment is a product of love if you are suffering do you really want to keep suffering if you are in a bad situation do you want to remain there if you love yourself you will say i want to get out of this place and if i want to get out of this place i have to very independently very neutrally without prejudice understand what is going on that is called detachment to not to be prejudiced towards yourself to not to have inner biases to not to say oh i am a good man but bad things are happening with me because the world is conspiring no i am a good man i deserve to be j1 it's just that the examination center was too noisy and that's why i am j2714 i do not know of your batch but most of us in my batch were aggrieved and kept fretting for all four years that we didn't get the j rank we deserved and all of us had reasons of this kind you know the the topics i specialized in there was no question from those topics 
there was just too much optics in the paper physics paper 25% of the paper was from optics now who does that this is a scandal i had declared myself j1 even before writing the j even thrown a party even published in the papers but look at my rank now in four figures we live very biased towards ourselves sometimes we also live biased against ourselves sir what can i do i cannot speak even in front of the mirror if there are even four people in the audience i faint i am no good please take me away hide me somewhere better still bury me in the earth we can be biased for we can be biased again but hardly ever are we realistic and it's a very important thing to have in life realism know yourself rightly know yourself rightly with the faith that your potential is infinite irrespective of your infinite potential if your current reality is of mediocrity accept it but accepting your current reality does not mean remaining limited to your reality you should say this is where i stand however i am not destined to stand here very frankly very honestly i accept i am standing at a very mediocre level but this is not where i will perpetually stay my destiny is elsewhere i'll climb to the skies i'll climb to the skies i'll not say i'm already sitting up there now both of these are problems there are those who say oh we are born to be great swami vivekanand told us so i'll declare i'm already great you are born to be great that does not mean you are already great be realistic and then there are those who say i fully well realize i'm in a very in between position i'm not great and that seals my fate my entire life i'll spend like this don't limit your flight irrespective of where you are you are capable of reaching the highest and when i say highest i do not mean a plum job in the us and, and four luxury villas there that's not that's not the conception of highest you should have i have nothing against the us but but the common conception that we have of being successful in life is deeply flawed and dangerous hmm? self love if i am being partial i am hurting myself do i want to hurt myself no i don't want to hurt myself i don't want to hurt myself when you are preparing for the j do you guys still use erodov or is it out of fashion now Huh? It's still in use, right? I do not know what your uh, response to Irodov was. As far as I was concerned, first three months I didn't get a single problem right. Not one problem. Class eleventh, I was told to pick it up in August or September. Till the winter set in. i was clueless what is going on one pulley here one mast there something is hanging now what do i do then tell myself that i am already proficient because the answers were there at the back in the additions that we used to have sometimes the hints too were there you could pick up the answer and reverse calculate and say i have done it is that what you do or do you honestly accept i am not yet there please that's also the thing you must do in life how much of jealousy do i have what's my jealousy coefficient how possessive i am how niggardly how lazy i am shouldn't you ask these things should you be assessed only on questions in physics and chemistry 
should you not assess yourself internally what's my discipline quotient what's my attention quotient this thing has been on since an hour or so or one and a half hours i do not know how much have i been attentive to should you not know that or are you saying that everything in the world is important except yourself this is important so i'll know about this this is important i'll know about this everything is important this is not important i am not important my life is not important how many of you want to say that please if you are important and your life is important then which knowledge is the most important self knowledge right but we have been told that you must be knowledgeable about everything history constitution geography of course pcm you must also know international affairs and geopolitics you must also know nfts and bitcoin and crypto and you know all these things what is it that you do not know of the self because the self is of no use because we are worthless everything is worthy of being known but we are worthless why should we know ourselves when you want to know something then your mind gains sharpness have you not experienced that when you really want to solve a problem have you seen how your entire mental energy gets focused huh then there is no question of attachment and prejudice then you are just hell bent on tackling the problem i want to know what's going on the same thing happens when you want to know what is happening internally then irrespective of what your hormones are doing what emotions you are experiencing you still know the reality are you getting it mm -hmm.